Hey, what's up you guys? So, these are the Yamaha Blaster Staters. And I don't see a lot of videos on YouTube explaining how to test the Staters. But, uh, I have three on the table. Two of them don't work. Uh, one of the coils don't work. But, uh, this is how you test it. I have on my computer here. The, the ohm setting. The room temperature should be around 68. Uh, when you're testing it but it's fine right now it's about 80 because i live in the desert 89 87 but um we're gonna be testing the stator here we test black wire and the white and red wire we should get a resistance between 16 and 24 ohms so we got the multimeter here i'm gonna put it on uh we're gonna put it on ohms. The horseshoe, as you can tell. But uh, this is how you test it. You get the black wire without the tracer. It's the black wire, solid black wire. Then you get the white wire with the red. So these two wires are being tested, the resistance. So, we we'll wrap this wire right here. And then we're going to test this. We got 20.3 ohms. That's in the resistance between 16 and 24. So we know... We know these two are good. Now we're going to test the other two wires, which is the black wire and the black and red wire. So we're going to test the solid black wire with the black wire with the red tracer and we should get homage if not if it's out of range it's bad and if it's not picking up anything there's a short somewhere in this wire or on these pickup coils or it's a bad pickup coil and this works with all blaster staters from 1988 to 2004 2006 blasters with the ground okay so now we're gonna test this here should be getting homage yeah we're not picking anything up <laughs> we're not supposed to be touching that but yeah we're not picking anything up right now yeah stator's bad uh we're gonna do another testing i actually soldered this on off of a chinese uh I took this coil off a Chinese uh, stator. However, you guys don't buy any of the Chinese staters. They're kind of trash. They have weird ohms. Uh, your bike just runs like crap. Uh, the Chinese staters, just buy an OEM one or a used one off of eBay. It's 100 bucks. It's worth it. But uh, yeah, so we're going to test the same thing. We're going to test the black solid wire with the uh, white red tracer get the ohms between 16 and 24 and then we're out of range on this one it's just because of the temperature in the room it's a little off it's about like 80 something degrees in this room but uh this is the newer stator with the ground, which doesn't make any difference. You can use all staters with any year. Yamaha Blaster. But uh, now we're going to test the black, black wire with the black wire with the red tracer. We're not picking anything up. Uh, this is not properly on there, but it's fine. You know? I've already tested these. These two don't work. But, uh, yeah. So the stator doesn't work. You can kind of use the Chinese staters to take the parts off and actually solder them on. But uh, I used this for about a year, and it went out. It's my personal bike. 
but I'm just gonna go and buy a couple more coils off of Partzilla and uh, get this repaired. Now let's get to the big boy engine here. So we have a Yamaha blaster engine here. And this stator works, I just rebuilt the engine. The flywheel is a little crusty. I usually make these look brand new, but uh, uh I just didn't do it to this one. This is my personal banshee, my personal blaster engine. I have about eight to nine of them. But um yeah, this is a good stator on here. And I'm gonna show you what a good stator looks like. I'm gonna have this set up here. So we can get the reading. So we should be getting between the black wire and the wet white with red, we should be getting 16 to 24 ohms for the resistance. So let's get the solid black wire and the white with red. The ohms for that. You're gonna see it on the multimeter there. I kind of like scoop it in here, this little slot here. Hold it in. I'll test it, but it's fine. It's a little. Thanks for turning off on me. Huh? Go back to the horseshoe. Now let's test the black one. The white with red. 20.2, which is in the range. Now we're going to test the black with the black and red. Yep, we're in range. It's 200 and. Well, 240, it's like fluctuating. I don't have like a proper like. There you go. 240, we're in the range of 192 to 280. So this is a good stator. It has spark. But this is the... the right settings for everything, but uh, yeah. And if you didn't know already, to remove these flywheels, you do need a tool. And uh... An impact, I would recommend an impact to take off the main bolt. Needle nose pliers to pull out the, the magneto. It's like a little spacer. Then you get the flywheel puller. You can hold this flywheel with your hand or you can actually use a tool they have from Tusk. You can hold it down here and actually pull it off uh, to get to the stator. But uh, yeah, so the stator works and the other two don't. But uh, yeah.